Hello and welcome to Zandy Brews Vlog 2. I'm back. Well, I thought I'd better get a few more videos up here since I've just started um, vlogging uh, and putting these uh, videos up for VTubers. So I hope you like this one. I'm covering a, a few things. It's all about water and I'm going to go through um, various things um, related to that with my uh, build um, in the cellar. As brewers, uh, we know how important water is um, to our final beer and how it, various water can change various beer styles. This is my learning curve, I'm just getting into this, so I want to get an early start um, learning about water profiles, how to manage water and things like that. As I live in Yorkshire, um, I need to know the mineral content of my uh, water, so I hopped over to the Yorkshire Water website. Uh, downloaded the um, document that outlines all the minerals contained. I plumbed that into Beersmith. As, as I was going through, I found that uh, the bicarbonate, the HCO3, was omitted from that document. So I ended up having to uh, pick up the phone, um, ask them what is the HCO3 content. Um, they got back to me, and three or four phone calls later, I've got the uh, mineral content, so let's walk over to uh, Beersmith and I'll uh, show you what I've got. As you can see we're in Beersmith and I've got my water profile highlighted. Um, what I'll do is I'll read out the numbers just in case it's not clear for you. Uh, these may be useful uh, for you if you want to um, condition your water to uh, Yorkshire water for making a Yorkshire bitter for instance. And the pH is 7.57. The calcium is 33.59, the magnesium is 1.86, the sodium is 7.06, the sulfate is 43.21, the chloride is 12.54 and the bicarbonate which was omitted from uh, the water report on Yorkshire Water's website is uh, 119. They're all parts per million. And uh, this is uh, my water profile, which I'll be using um, moving forward. So that's my profile for Yorkshire water being plumbed into uh, Beersmith. Easy to do, um, just tapped in the numbers and along came other figures. I did notice on the side of there you had bitter, um, which was nice to know because I know York, Yorkshire water is famous for its Yorkshire bitters. One thing what I felt a little bit let down with Beersmith is it didn't tell me um, what other styles were open to me from the water straight out of my tap. Uh, but uh, apart from that, it's all plumbed in and ready to go, so you can make use out of that water profile. You've got, you've got the numbers. So that's the uh, water profile uh, being uh, plumbed into uh, Beer Smith. Um, very easy really, just got it off the website, made a couple of phone calls and got the information in there, so it was really easy to do. So moving on from that, um, I'm also looking into a reverse osmosis system. Um, I've been watching videos, uh, shout out to Daft Cat and to uh, Do Broods who uh, made um, a couple of videos on that, very good information. Um, I've been over to eBay, had a quick look on there, got a little bit confused, found website, so let's hop over um, to the website, and I'll check on there. So here we are on, on the computer. Um, East Midlands um, recommended this system, uh, the Dialect Pro Tankless. Um, they recommend the, the, the normal price is 495 it's currently on a special offer. Um, going through this um, seem, seems to be a good system, uh, but um, I think I can get this cheaper somewhere else. Um, if it does the job and, it, and it's wonderful, then maybe that's the system, but they... Um, the, the carbon, I think this is more designed for drinking water and doesn't get the TDS down to zero um, looking at this one. Now I um, contacted uh, Vyer and I rung that number and I, I spoke to a gentleman there called Sam. Now Sam recommended um, this system 
um, so a pumped four stage reverse osmosis system, 100 gallons per day. Um, so it might take a few hours to fill my 100 litre uh, stock pot, but um, it, um, it will get there eventually. Um, includes a DI resin stage, so it gets you down to deionized water. So I think that's it, and that comes in at uh, 164 uh, pounds and 15. The optional extras, I think I might go for this one, um, and maybe some spare filters. So got them handy. Um, with that, but that seems like the system um, I'm probably going to go for looking at the two. As I say, I know nothing about uh, water. Uh, I'm just going on best advice. Um, if you know different, please feel free to put a comment in, uh, pointing me in the uh, right direction. But I think, I think for the money, um, that's most likely going to be it. Um, for my uses so I'll probably have an upcoming video with the installation of this and how it how it works so that's the RL system uh, it's all new to me as I mentioned I don't know nothing about water so uh, as much help as possible if you can leave any comments that would be great now moving on um, I mentioned a couple of companies I must point out at this stage I've not been paid by them to promote them these are just um, websites and companies that I've come across during my research um, looking um, for equipment to uh, suit my needs um, and you know I'm just looking for help and guidance if anybody um, knows uh, any better right moving on um, talking about sinks um, I'm going to jump on to uh, another company. Yet yeah, not being paid by this, but this is a company that I found that uh, seems to be uh, reasonable. And we'll go back online for that. And we're here online again. Um, well, on drum and catering, I found these guys uh, on eBay um, looking for uh, various kitcheny type of equipment. Now, I was looking for a nice deep sink. Um, and the one that I'm currently looking for is currently out of stock, which is this one at £300. Um, shame. But to be honest, the difference between a single bowl and a double bowl is not that much different. So I might as well go for a double bowl. Um, so, so this is the one that I'm going for. Let's click, click into it. It's nice and deep, as you can see. Um, that's because for my usage, I'm going to be using 100 litre stop uh, boiling pots um, for the HLT, um, the mash tun, and the uh, boil kettle. So I need plenty of space to be able to rinse them out and do things. Also, with the fermentation vessels to put them in and clean them. So that's why I've gone for uh, the deep one. As you can see, there's not a great deal of clearance underneath the sink. Um, for the plumbing, so that's probably going to get quite tight underneath there, and especially that I need to uh, drill a hole um, through the brick to uh, access the drain. Um, but it's a shame um, that there. Also, they do um, uh, taps, so I'm going to go for um, actually both of these taps. Um, one on there and one in the sink so I can do uh, different tasks. Price is reasonable um, and what I found out is they supply a lot of the shops that are more of a wholesaler uh, than a retailer so well guess what I've been editing and I've been going along and I think I deserve a coffee. It's taken quite a while. Respect for you guys who uh, make these videos. The length of time it takes to put one together is actually phenomenal. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of my uh, what was I talking about? What with water. So I've been over uh, water profiles uh, for Yorkshire water, um, talked about uh, reverse osmosis, and obviously the sinks that I'm uh, hopefully getting. Um, well, I should be getting, that's if they've got them in stock um, for my uh, cellar build. And uh, that's it. So if you like what you've seen or if you've got any comments, you do, do feel free to post them down below. It'd be nice to hear from you. I have now got 10 subscribers. Woo! Hope we can get more. Um, if you find that interesting, 
might give up if there's nobody. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna keep plugging on, putting these out. Some of these videos might um, help other people and uh, keep going. And I think her upstairs has just arrived back, so I've gotta go. All the best and mash on.